This is the Wii Viewer. This is the littlest. And we're going to review... Kirby Star Allies. For the Nintendo Switch. The very first Kirby game for the Switch. Were you excited? I guess. Kirby games to me were always a little hit and miss. I think they're a little too easy. There's That's kind of the point. I'm a big fan of Kirby 64, as I've said before. Which one was your favorite Kirby game? Probably Planet Robot. I think this game takes a little bit of uh, inspiration from Kirby 64 with the mix and match abilities. The mix and match work a bit more like they did in Squeak Squad, where only materialistic items like bombs or swords can get infused with elemental powers. The thing is about this Kirby game to me is it just was okay. There was no excitement for me with this game at all. And it's not a particularly long one. Kirby is designed for players who either want to just easily burn through a game, just have fun with it, or players who are not experienced with gaming. Yeah, I would agree with you. So all of a sudden there was a meteor shower. All of these meteors start hitting people. Apparently it turns people evil? It possesses them? It's full of malevolent force, as is revealed later in the game. And it gives Kirby the power of love? I don't know how that one works. And he's got the power to kill kiss people and bring them to his side. No, he throws hearts at them. Kisses with hearts. Mwah! No, he materializes them out of thin air. What's easier to believe? He makes a kiss and that turns into a heart or just materializes? Materializes because, you know, it's Kirby. You've seen him do crazier things. He throws the heart at some enemies and they decide to be their friends. You use those friends to mix and match powers and to help you fight in battles. And that's basically it. That's the gimmick of this game. It's basically a little bit of Superstar and a little bit of 64 slash Squeak Squad. What'd you think of it? It was all right, I guess. Did you like the partners thing? And they've had partners before, but not four players. It works differently in this game. I kind of prefer the way it worked in Superstars. Do you think it made the game too easy? I guess. Now, the whole point of the four player sort of thing is to get other people to play with you. And neither one of us really did play with anybody else. I asked you, can I play with you? And what'd you say? No. Yeah, and I'm like, will you play with me? And you're like, no. We couldn't test because neither one of us could get either one of us to test. I mean, the AI knows what to do, when to do it. It's certainly better AI than Amazing Mirror. What's wrong with Amazing Mirror? They just aimlessly wander. Yeah, when it came to some of the puzzles, if you push up, it makes the character do the charges or what they need to do. And it actually worked quite well. I was actually really surprised. I was expecting it to have to control the computer characters more, but it pretty much did what I hoped it would do. In terms of this game's level design, I found it to be a bit more simplistic than some of the other games, like the 3DS games, which frequently had a bit of a special mechanic to each level. Yeah, that's why I kind of think this game is just okay. The word okay was made for this game. So let's talk about the mini games. There is one where you're chopping a tree and one where you're hitting a meteor with a baseball bat because why not? They're just like little distractions. Yeah. You enjoyed the boss rush mode, which is only unlockable to beat the game. Yeah, boss rush is fun. I've played boss rush in previous games back when it was known as the arena. It's a bit different, mainly in the idea of it has scalable difficulty. What do you think about the collectibles you can get in this game? Literally just the puzzle pieces. You're basically making a picture. It is a reintroduction of my least favorite mechanics of the 3DS Kirby games. Keychains and stickers, because they're completely random, and collecting all of them gives you like 2%. So little Kirby Star Allies, would you buy, rent, sale, or skip? If you want to play it right now, then just rent it, but other than that, sale. How much would you say this game is worth? I'd say less than 30S games, so under 40 bucks. So you say only $20 off. See, I think this is the epitome of a rental. And by the way, you can rent games, which is what we did. We rented this game. We rented it off Gamefly. I guess I should probably do a sponsorship through Gamefly. I haven't even thought about it after all these years i've been with game five for 10 years it paid for itself this month with this game because i can't believe even buying this game for 60 bucks i think it is the only way i would say to buy this game was like 1999 and i know that's really unfair but the fact of the matter is it's a really short game really easy by the end of me doing the like the third level and i'm not saying the third world the third level i had like 16 lives and I think you said you had 100 by the time you ended the game. Which, by the way, was not possible in earlier Kirby games. Originally, it maxed out at 99. Why even have lives if you're just going to give them out like water? This game is easy for Kirby standards and short for Kirby standards as well. Now I'm thinking more about it. It only has four worlds, as opposed to the previous games going down to as, as much as six. So we both are kind of like, yeah, this is probably something you just want to pick up for over the weekend. <laughs>